all right guys good evening um it's been a while <clears throat> all right um let's let me quickly dive in um there's no time now the last time we met in the meeting i tried to explain how to um register your domain name hosts the domain and as well how to pay for domain name and the hosting and i'll also talk about um installing wordpress and uh, the last the play the last uh point we stopped was installing tribe architect so we're gonna i'm gonna do a recap on the installation of wordpress from the installation of WordPress to installation of um, Tribe Architect before we start building our pages, our sales funnel for e commerce business. So let's dive in. Right. So now, basically, when you are, you remember the last time I was talking about. I was talking about when you register your domain, they're going to send you an email to acknowledge and to sh give you all your login details for your cPanel. So let me quickly just do that right now. And um, so this is the email I'm talking about. If you go to your email that you register, you're going to see this. So if you click on it, you're going to see your cPanel, your cPanel login details. So you're going to see your cPanel login details. This was a domain name that we registered that same day. Here, I'm going to go to cPanel. This is domain. This is the domain. Let me just copy the domain name or just click on it and open the domain. Then we use the username and password that is here. It's coming up. My network here is a bit slow. So it's coming up. So the username is this and um, the password see I'm changing my password to you but don't worry I'm changing the password anytime any moment from now okay So it's coming up. So it's coming up. All right. So this is this is the C panel. So and I said that when you see on your C panel, just go to Softaculous this installer or you scroll down to the end of the page you see wordpress so let me install the wordpress again so you click on wordpress and it takes you to this environment when you get to this end, just click on install now all right so here what you need to look at is one make sure that this is ssl the ssl is enabled that is httpx this is the website then here because i want this site to be as soon as you type www.davivstores.com.ng you should go to the content of the website so i don't want it to be wp a sub directory so i don't want that i will clean it up so if you clean it up i'm going to clear it up now the name of the site the name of the site you can change this one later you can change this one later, Davi 
Ya visto. Right. Yo sé. One stop shop. For. Your. House. Hold. Item. So, sorry. So we can, we can still change this one later. If you look by this side, which is the right side, you see admin. It's very important for you to change this admin, to change it to your own unique ID. So what I'm going to use here, what I'm going to use here, I'm going to change it so that for the sake, for security reason, um, so <clears throat> I've, enter my password then the admin email this one will be automatically created by the hosting company for you then just scroll down you need all this just scroll down and click install so in a couple of minutes it's going to finish installation we did all this in the previous class right so let's this is not really a big deal so it's coming up it's coming up all right so as soon as you finish installation you're gonna it's gonna land you in this page right so um what next is it's telling you that wordpress has successfully been installed on your has been installed successfully at this so we can browse the sites so if you click on this now it takes you to the site it takes you to the site and also for us to enter the back end of that wordpress site we need to go to this directory davifystalls.com.ng slash wp admin so if you click on this it takes you to the admin of that store right good so so it the admin page is loading let's wait for it to load the dashboard for the admin is all right all right so so we are in admin so this is our admin page right the next thing that i want to do here is to install our warp our plugin which is tribe architect right that's the next thing we want to do now so what we want to do now is to install tribe architect so you come to add You come to add so it comes to this place come to upload go to browse go to browse click on browse it's coming up and locate where you store or save your the tribe architect you downloaded initially from Mr. Rona. Okay, I guess this is mine. So I click on open. If you click on open, you're gonna see it here. Then click on install. All right. So now you're gonna see you're gonna bring you to this screen installing plugins from upload file tribe dash architect.zip on packaging the package installing the plugin plugin installed successfully so after you've done this the next thing is to activate the plugin so just click on activate because if you don't click on activate you won't be able to use the software so good 
we are good so if you check the list of the plugins that you now have you see that tribe architect is there in case it is not active probably you see active here just click on it if you want to deactivate it you can click on this to deactivate so good so we've installed our tribe architect i explained what tribe architect is in the last meeting now let me recap that tribe architect is a software you use to build web pages and it, it, it basically it helps you to get a quick web page or website hop fast you just drag drop with element and you are you are done so i'm going to be showing you how to use the tribe architect right now so good we are going to be using tribe architect how to use tribe architect the first thing you need to first do is to um first create a page go to page go to pages add new page or you come up here this new that you are seeing click on the new you see a drop down it's going to bring up a drop down then click on page so it will go to the page and be able to create a new page so <clears throat> you can name the page let me name this page um davify let me just name the name the page davify it can be home page it can be um sales page any page any name you want to give just give it a, pa a page name davify or welcome you can give it any name so click on publish and um, publish again click it twice publish so after you've done this now the page you want to build is a welcome page a kind of a landing page you get it a kind of a landing page or the sales page the, the, the landing page that you want to be sending your traffic to so this page can have um a pre-sale or a sampler content or an opt-in page you get it now so it, it depends on the kind of funnel you want to use right I explained more about this in my full course. You get it. So it depends on the funnel you are using or you intend to use. Do you get it now? So now after you've done this, you see this at the top here. You see launch tribe architect. So you click on launch tribe architect. basically what that means is that that page that we created we have to we want to use tribe architect to republish it and make it more look more the way we want it you get it because we don't want to use the team template because remember i told you we're not building a full-grown website we're building a sales funnel do you get it now so that's that said so it's coming up and this is how it's look all right guys so in this new tribe architect a lot of things have changed before now we don't have this kind of screen that we're seeing what page would you like to create now we have a normal page and we have a pre-built page now what's the difference the pre-built page is like a template that have already been pre-built you understand that you just need to remove the text put your own and like that modify it and it's okay also the normal page is this page that you create just put in your content build this from scratch up do you get it now so but let's use the landing page pre-built landing page because we intend to build a landing page right all right so it's going to land you here where you see a lot of templates that you can model 
a lot of templates you can model so here is it you know you can take anyone you can bring up anyone anyone and you can edit it as well so let's just pick one this one probably okay let's pick this to one let me pick this to one so this has a sales page a lead gen page an email configuration page now let me explain something when you talk about sales page your sales page is that page that you used to pitch the benefits of your products you understand where you tell people to persuade them what your product is all about what your product can do for them how your product can help them achieve a particular goal do you get my points now now if it you are building a lead gen page meaning that as you pitch your product then you have to have we call it a squeeze page you have to have an opt-in page an opt-in page is that little form you want your prospect to put in their email and probably the name and the phone number you get it so that you can do follow up on them if they don't buy at that time so i'm going to choose this first one then i will apply the templates so if you click that it's going to bring up the entire components of this page and bring it bring them out for you so that you'll be able to edit and work on them okay right so this is our new this is our new web a landing page so i got this let's uh, let's go and leave good one so this is how the page look you can see you can see it right good now here here you we can edit all this all these components if you come to your right hand side you see this plus sign that's where all these element all this this box that you're seeing this to one you are seeing everything every element that you are seeing on this screen so let's take for instance uh, we want to edit this just click on it revealed the new way to boost your website conversion rates then you need to put your own headline like mr ronald show you then if you need a video sales page or probably you've recorded a video or a video of your product you can put that you can put that here so let me let us edit it actually i don't have any write up down but let us form something out all right guys so um let, let, let's just edit all this and see if you scroll down let's go up back take for instance you want to edit just click on this new way to boost your website website conversion rates you can you can delete conversion rates you get it edit it put your content put your subject line the headline there so if you want to remove if you want if you want um work we want to work on this one or you don't want it you can as well delete it here you see you can get rid of it can get rid of it you get it you can return it back if you want you can undo it it will come back so now this video take for instance you want to use exact thing how are you going to change this video this video 
so what happen is just come here if you click on it click on it and uh, come to the right left hand side see url then change it to your own youtube where the video where you save the video if the video is not on youtube if it is on your server your own domain then you put the directory there you get it now so that is that one then you can put it on auto play you can put it on audio. just look at all these functions there that's where you can then also the source of your video you can come here and select the source you can see upload video so if it is if you uploaded it on your server you can use this then scroll down the same element you use text element here this text element here is what you use just if you drag if i if i need a text element now see then i can i can just say my best best product you know just type anything there just type anything there you get the point if you want to edit this you can edit it again mr runner i will explain all this so i'm just trying to walk you through it use this section to describe the product the benefit of the product so it's giving us the the format for writing our sales page so this is the format future highlights you can state this one as benefit highlights or what you're going to get if you use this product just put it there the multi-purpose section you can put any other thing there then testimonial customer testimonial if you have any so that's that then here you change the name of the company here the name of the company here is davify so just click on this okay he said i should define the global variable so you want me to impute the so in this new tribe architect there's a global variable so if you click on this global variable here and they're trying to edit this one it's referring me that you should go to dashboard and enter my company details there so i click on it takes me to this place when it takes you to this place then you can enter your details here you get it you can enter your company details here company company is davify verify store right so i save that so i can put my address here lucky lagos so i just put that save that phone number i put zero eight zero this this that's an anonymous there's no number like this save it uh turn it phone number i don't have email buy at davify davify stalls dot com dot ng save so private policy i need to put my private policy set all this up my social media and do i can have that there and uh i guess that's all go back to dashboard so if i come back here now and i refresh this should have changed let's refresh this stay on the page save uh 
All right. So I guess that's all for the installation of our Tribe Architect. Thank you so much. If you have any issue, still let me know. Right.